national security begins with border security. We have said that all along. That's That has been my comment since late October. It is my comment today. And today, before he even started speaking, Biden let the press know he won't be taking any questions, but he did manage to get these words out. Republicans and Democrats in the Senate came together to send a message of unity to the world. It's time for the House Republicans to do the same thing, to pass this bill immediately, to stand for decency, stand for democracy, to stand up to a so-called leader hell-bent on weakening American security. History is watching. History is watching. History is watching. And I mean it sincerely. History is watching. History is watching. Let's bring in Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, good to see you. Um, good it to sounds, see you. as we played the clip, uh, the Speaker has said this bill is going nowhere in the House. Uh, so, Speaker Johnson, and I imagine you are standing up for decency and democracy. We appreciate that. But here's my concern if you get some Republicans that join Democrats for a motion to recommit, you turn the House floor over to Democrats. Is it possible that Republicans could bail and go join Democrats on this bill? I, I mean, I don't see our side doing that. I don't, I don't see some procedural maneuvers that they would do, and I'm very happy to hear that um, Speaker Johnson isn't willing to bring this bill to the floor, um, and, and we don't need to be giving more money to a foreign government when we have an invasion at our southern border. We've sent money over to the Senate for aid for Israel, and they've done absolutely nothing about it because they care more about Ukraine's borders than they care about America's borders. It is the audacity, Congressman, of Joe Biden lecturing uh, people about decency. And history will remember this when his all of his policies have fed money directly to Vladimir Putin that just a short while ago he moved in to freeze permits on new uh, liquefied natural gas export projects, which, again, which enriches Vladimir Putin yep. and puts our allies in Europe in peril. And at every turn, so just for him to stand there and have that to say and talk about our national security, when uh, uh, security is the debt. Our, our, our security is at risk because of $1 trillion in just interest that we're paying on the debt every year yep. right now, which tops what we spend on our national defense. Yeah, you're exactly right. And this uh, president cares more about Russians' uh, energy production and Ar Iran's energy production than he does about America's energy production. He shuts down America's energy energy production and allows for the Iranians to be able to uh, drill and sell oil uh, in violation of all the things that Trump put in place to prevent that type of thing, opened up $6 billion. And one of the things that is interesting in this package is there's money in this package that passed the Senate that would go to the very organization organizations that are funding Hamas and are funding terrorism uh, in Gaza and the Palestinian Authority. So why would we be funding that side of that war while funding the Israelis on their side of the war, while funding the Ukrainians? It makes absolutely no sense when the focus should be America first and the safety and security of the American people. Yeah, and no doubt about that. And, and the main issue here is that the Senate and the White House didn't negotiate a border bill that would have done anything to secure the border. And on that point, uh, uh, the uh, DHS secretary, Mayorkas, you guys are going to take a second crack at him, I know. It's going to come up for a vote in uh, just about an hour. You guys failed about a week ago. Will House Republicans actually have the votes tonight to impeach Secretary Mayorkas? If everybody is here, we'll have the vote. You Steve do. Scalise is back. Obviously, he's been getting treatment for uh, cancer. We lost that vote by one vote. Uh, with Steve Scalise back, even if everybody is present in the chamber, we have the votes to impeach Mayorkas tonight. Uh, so I'm looking forward to voting again to impeach Secretary Mayorkas. We've had a systematic betrayal of the American people at the southern border. You have every single day intentionally violating federal law at our border, and he needs to be held accountable for that. Do you, but what do you expect to get out of it other than just a, a show? Assuming well, that this, this, is... this impeachment passes. 
Well, it's my understanding that it forces them to have a, a trial in the Senate. So we're, we, as Republicans in the House who have impeached him, have the ability to bring all of this evidence before the American people in the Senate as to why he should be impeached, why they are violating federal law at the border every single day, why the Biden administration is violating federal law at the border every single day. Ten million illegals have come into our country, records amount of fentanyl enough to kill the population of the entire world, um, gangs, rapists, you name it. More, uh, I think it's more than 300 people on the terrorist watch list this individual is allowed to come into our country and then won't tell us if they've deported these individuals or not. Uh, so we'll have the ability to try that case before the American people. And we know that the Senate likely is not going to remove him, but the American people gets to hear all those facts and evidence again about his failure at the southern border. But does this also show the White House and the Senate that the House is dead serious about what's happening at the southern border? And if you impeach 100%. Mayorkas tonight, and you put a new funding bill together that you send over to the Senate in regard to Ukraine and Israel, and you include border security, they'll know not to mess with the House. Isn't that the message of tonight? It's how serious you are with the southern border and protecting Americans? That is the number one issue affecting Americans today. It's the number one issue that Americans care about. And we've already sent funding bills over to the Senate that fund Israel, that do the type of things to fund our defense uh, that we want to do in the House. And the Senate has refused to take those up. So for the president to try to tie this together, that you know the border is, is not being held together because Republicans aren't passing a bill in the House, that's an absolute lie to the American people. He can shut down the border today. Mayorkas can shut down the border today, but they're choosing not to do that. I just want to ask you one thing before we go. This was something I read in Punchbowl early today, uh, this morning, and it it said it's pretty wild to see how House Speaker Johnson and Mitch McConnell are in completely different universes. Uh, you know, and the, how that they are not working in tandem with, with each other. And my reaction was, well, thank the Lord on high that they aren't, Amen. because Mitch McConnell has voted for trillions of dollars in additional non-defense spending under Biden. Amen. I, I hear you. Absolutely. Thank God we have uh, Mike Johnson in the Speaker's office to push back against all these horrible policies that are coming from the Senate. Well, we hope uh, that small majority you guys have in the House, you all stick together. Congressman Greg Stubbe from Florida, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you.